Hello everybody, and welcome to my let's play of Blackwell Unbound. If you've been following along, you've uh, watched as I played through the first game in the Blackwell series, uh, Blackwell Legacy. And this is the sequel. This is also by Dave Gilbert, also an adventure game studio game for PC. You can get it on Steam or at wadgetigames.com. Uh, I'm Matthew Marco, one half of the uh, video game podcast Abnormal Mapping. And this is my Let's Play. These games are pretty talky, so expect this uh, to be mostly the game and me just kind of chiming in now and again when we get stuck in a puzzle. We're going to start this, hope that uh, we get a chance to play before this uh, episode comes about. Uh, if you don't know, the uh, first game detailed Rosangela Blackwell, who was a reporter who discovered that she had inherited the family ghost right here, Joey. Uh, this game takes place, well, I don't remember, 60s or 70s, we'll find out, and stars uh, Lauren, Rosangela's aunt, who had the ghost f before uh, Rosangela, and who goes around and solves uh, mysteries involving ghosts and spirits, because that's what you do when you're haunted by a ghost, I guess. Alright, let's load up the game. I know I know how to play. Infinity. I've been told it's beautiful, but I don't think it's anything special. But when you live like me, most things become quite ordinary. I adore Life, Lauren's death, smoking animation. Souls. It's a all lot the same of good to me. Smoking animation. Sometimes I wonder if anything will ever surprise me again. Sometimes I wonder if I even care. Soaking in all this smooth jazz. And stay out. Oh, hey, you know I don't like that. What's your beef anyway? I am not talking to you. Oh, promises, promises. So what's next on the list? What's next? The balcony. Why, gonna throw yourself over and join me? No, I'm having a cigarette. Great. You want a cigarette. What am I supposed to do? You can do whatever the hell you like. One thing to note, the uh, first game was remade uh, just a couple just years one. back. Then I can get on with this. So this game, in the, kind of the style of like the third and fourth game, so this game is much, uh, maybe not much more, but it's a more primitive game than uh, the version of Blackwell Legacy I played. You notice there's no portrait art. I don't know if we get portrait art or not. Let's take a look at what we've got. We've got a case no. list. The case list doesn't exist. She doesn't want to talk Nothing about the case list. exists until I finish the cigarette. I don't blame her. Cigarette pack, lighter, lit cigarette. I can uh, switch to Joey at any time. I haven't taken any notes. She hasn't taken notes. Can I be Joey? Yep. Okay, so Joey's now a playable character. A pair of muddy boots. Man, that is an old coat. I think soldiers wore it during the Civil War. A jar stuffed with loose cash. Well, there's the photo from the first uh, game. If I'd known I could be photographed, I would have shown my good side. That's Jack, her kid brother. He's all right, I guess. Look how young she was. She's got to be 18, 19. It's been over 10 years. Time flies. Oh, look, it's her. Good old Patricia Blackwell, also known as Cleopatra, Queen of Denial. Spent seven months bonded to that woman. She never spoke to me once. Joey's kind of a bitter guy. I mean, he's like a gangster. I a can't remember the last time she washed that thing. Just a radio. Oh, look, another ashtray. I have no interest in that thing. It's her phone. 
Oh look, another ashtray. Tackiest thing I ever saw. That thing is deader than, well, me. She keeps smoking, and yet that pile never seems to grow smaller. She calls this thing a Polaroid. Takes pictures instantly. It's pretty amazing. It's her phone book. The local rag. Yeah, we're just going just around. Just another one of the many everybody. mugs that plague this place. Oh, look. It's the couch. Every night I get to watch her snore on that thing. Does she not have a bed, or does she just, uh, pass out? An old rain bucket, filled with cigarette butts. I ho the glamorous life. Hey. What? Well, let's apologize. Joey's should always be apologizing. Look, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Um... Exactly. I don't want to insult her. Why the heck are you so mad? You honestly don't know. I have no idea. Typical. If you don't know, I'm sure as hell not going to tell you. You done moping? Or do you want to grind your teeth some more? Christ, Joey. Can't you just leave it for one minute? Take another drag of that cigarette, darling. You get real ugly when you stop smoking. Oh? Is that right? Well... Ugly, am I? Take it easy, dear. It was just a little joke. A joke? Yeah. I'm a riot. Like today, when those pipes burst. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is, is that what's got you in such a guff? I got soaked, and you just laughed. Well, it was funny. It was cold and wet and slimy. <laughs> it wasn't funny. You should have seen the look on your face. The way you jumped up and down and ran in circles, squealing. <sighs> Still wasn't funny. If you say so. Okay, I'm finished. Let's get on with this. There's a few things we haven't checked, right? Yes, I've got the list right here. Well, let's check it. Every other case today has been a false alarm. Maybe this will be an easy night. Okay, let's switch back to Lauren. She's got the case list. Ugh. Every one of these leads has been a dead end. Just two more to go, and we can call it a night. I read about a grocer who was complaining about his stock mysteriously disappearing. Turned out to be a bunch of rats. Joey scared them half to death. Most fun I've had all year. Now that was a waste of time. Didn't find any ghosts, and I got soaked. That woman was old, drunk, and senile. A total waste of time. Okay, strange music on This the... one looks promising. Residents have reported strange music on the promenade late at night. Nobody knows where it comes from. And then... A development corporation has halted construction after a series of accidents. Probably nothing, but worth checking out. Okay. We've got two Pack places to go. Cigarettes. Should last till the end of the day. It's my lighter. This will probably be my last cigarette of the day. We don't have any notes. It's my Polaroid camera. Uh, let's just grab a couple mm. of these. I'm running low. Man. That's the phone ashtray for when I'm on the phone. The kitchen ashtray for when I'm cooking or watering the plant. Man, some life. That's the couch ashtray for when I sleep or watch TV. I'm sure I can nurse this thing back to help. Just needs a little more time. Okay. Let's uh let's take a gander at the money jar, at the very least. It's my rainy day jar. I put some money in here whenever I think of it. It's a trick I learned from my mother. There's around sixty dollars in here now. Is that a lot Mug, in seventy-three money? Right I don't behind actually you. know. Okay, we've got two possible cases that we could be investigating. Oh, we got a new weird map. Music and accidents. Let's look at the music. Hmm. Looks like another bus, Joey. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe not. Wait, you hear that? I think so. Let's get closer. Hey, look. 
Looks like our evening might not be a total wash after all. Notebook updated. Okay, well, that's helpful. Nice tune. You write it yourself? Hey, mister. I'm Lauren Blackwell. What's your name? What are you doing here? Kind of late to be out, don't you think? The dead don't keep normal hours, dear. I think I've forgotten what normal hours are. Hey, mister? Yoo-hoo! I'm talking to you. Hello? He's not hearing you, kid. Ugh, forget it. Okay, well, the ghost is kind of a bust. How am I supposed to do that? He's a ghost. I'm not. I don't think he'd want that. Okay. It's my right. lighter. This will prop. It's my lighter. Let's get out of here, I guess. Can I give this him a cigarette? Prop. No, it's mine. <laughs> She's not gonna give that up. Could Joey talk to him? Hey, Mac, the name's Joey. Ah, the talkative sort, are we? Well, we'll soon sort that out. That's a pretty nice instrument you got there. Mind if I have a look? Hey, do you feel... restless? Like you've got somewhere to go but don't know where? It means you're dead, Mac. Can you even hear me? So... Nice night, huh? Pay attention, you fat chump. I'm talking. Rude. That's your idea of intimidating? Quiet, will ya? I'll be back, pal. Don't you worry. Can I touch the saxophone? Hey, I'm talking, Buster. Whoa. Hey! hey, hey. You let, let go. go! Just what are you doing here? What am I doing? What do you think I'm doing? Get away from me, man! I need to ask you a few questions first. Not nah, now, man. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Get off the stage! Stage? Ow! That's how we treat your kind at Johnny Ivory's. Johnny Ivory's? What are you talking about? Hello? Oh, we're dealing with a real sharp tack here. Okay, well... Johnny Ivory's. Don't know where that is. Let's get out of here. I think we've got enough for a second. Well, this is it. Yep. All's quiet so far. The gate is locked. I can't get through. Let's uh, get LeJoy through. All right, I'm going in to check it out. Stay close to the wall. Yeah, sure. Let me know what you find. Hello? Anyone here? Oh, another uh, ghost. Well, what do you see? Is it clean? I'm afraid not. Well, hurry up then. I feel stupid pressed up against this wall. Can we go to the trailer? first, because I'm ridiculous. But oh, we can. I can't take the sign. Yeah, okay. It says Seagram Realty. I guess they're the guys who own this construction outfit. Let's take a look-see. Dear Mr. Foreman, I was hoping you could help me. I've tried speaking to your boss, but he ignores my calls. The agreement, I believe, was $230 a month for five years. However, since the move, I've only been receiving $225 a month. Can you please send someone with the $60 I'm entitled to? I'd come myself, but it's hard to me for me to get around these days. Harriet Sherman. Harriet Sherman. I have no idea who she is, but any lead is a good lead. Maybe it's My the, guess uh, is that she's not too happy with the foreman. Ghost. This lady is upset because she's been stiffed five bucks a month. I can't make heads or tails out of this thing. Okay. Hmm. The name under the picture is Farrah Fawcett. I wonder if she likes dead guys. 
Oh, look, an ashtray. Maybe the kid should get a job here. Just a fan. Cheap material. I want nothing to do with it. I wonder if this lady is Harriet. Let's talk to the lady, see what's up. Stop drifting so I can click on you. There we go. Hey there! Huh? Could someone be there? Of course not. No one would be so rude as to enter without knocking. Hey lady, I'm talking to you. No, the door is closed. Nobody is there. Only way in is if I open the door. And to do that, he'd have to knock. Can I knock? Um, knock knock? What? <sighs> Nobody is there. The door is still closed and bolted. I said, hey there. No, no. Nobody there. Door is locked and barred. Nobody could get in. Just look at me, why don't you? I know you can see me. No. Visitors must knock. Or ring the bell. That's the way it's done. Um, knock knock? What? No. Nope. The door- <sighs> I'll be back. Friggin' spooks. I'd like to see them try. Did I leave the gas on? Okay, so we got a ghost who might be this lady. Let's chat low out there. Joey, what are you doing in there? How's it going on the outside? Oh, it's a thrill a minute out here. Like a day at the circus. Miss me? Yeah, sure. Like I miss toe fungus. I need you to do something. What? Uh, yeah. Knock on the gate door. Knock on the door? Why? I'll explain later. Just do it. A knock? Oh my! A visitor! Uh, just a minute! Is my hair okay? It'll have to do. Hello? Hello, miss. Hello? Can I help you? I'm Joey Malone, miss. Well, Mr. Malone, to what do I owe the pleasure? What's your name? Excuse me? Your name? My name is on the door. If you don't know who I am, then why are you here? I'm a bit lost. Can you tell me where I am? Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Are you looking for a specific apartment or... Apartment? You mean we're inside a building? Yes. Are you feeling all right, mister? You're not in a building, lady. Take a look around. I don't know what you're talking about. We're on the third floor. Look, there's the elevator down the hall. Ah, right, yeah, I see it. Are you sure you're feeling all right? I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I've had enough. I'm not going to stand here and indulge in idle chit-chat. Who are you? Um... Man, uh... I'm with the gas company. I was sent to check your apartment for leaks. Didn't you come this morning? Uh... Yes, you did. You found nothing and you charged me a fortune. That must have been someone else. You're not fooling me. You're one of them, aren't you? One of them? Who is them? I told you all before, I am not leaving. The only way you can drag me out of here is as a corpse. Goodbye. Where else can I go? Hey, kid, knock on the gate again. Another visitor? Oh, you again. I have something to tell you. Oh? There's no delicate way to put this. You're dead. Pardon me? Dead and buried. You're a ghost haunting a wasteland. You're unbalanced. Tell me what you want before I call the police. Well, that didn't work. You're not in a building, lady. What are you talking about? We're on the ground. 
We're outside. You, you sir, sir, need glasses. glasses. Look, Look at, at the, the door. door. It, it says, says D, D clear, clear as day. day. I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, Look I've, I've had, had enough. enough. I'm not going to stand. Who are you? Uh, let's do Census Taker. Maybe we can get her name. I'm with the Census Bureau, and I have to ask you a couple of questions. Where's, Where's your, your clipboard? clipboard? I excuse me? I thought all oh, census, census takers needed a clipboard. Well, that didn't Ah, work. no. Not anymore. Cutbacks. You're not fooling me. You One of who yeah. is- I told you the only is as good bo- They have no right. Hey, kid. No knock right. on the gate again. One of these should work, right? You'd think. My. I'm popular today. <laughs> oh, you again. I'd like to ask you some qu- Look, I'm not- Who are- uh, let's be the landlord. I was sent by your landlord. Oh, you were? Yep, he wanted me to ask you a few questions. Well, for your information, I don't have a landlord. I own this apartment. You're not fooling me. You're what? One who? I feel well, that didn't work. This place is still free. Hey, kid. Not one more, and then if that doesn't work, we'll have to go. I'm popular today. Bottom uh, the gas. You man. again. I'd like to ask you. Look, I'm not. Who are. I. You do? Uh. 4 E? No, you, no, don't. you don't. You're not fooling me. One who. I told the old is as good. Bo yep, that didn't work. Okay. So she's dead. Uh. Probably forced out by shady land developers. There's not much I can do with that. Let's take a look see. Is this her, maybe? Harriet Sherman. I have no idea who she is. Yeah, it doesn't seem to... I can't access notes as Joey. Okay, let's go talk to Lauren. So, is it all taken care of? Not yet, dear. Slacker. Okay, notes. Only Lauren has notes. Joey. Yes? What do you think they're building here, Joey? Dunno. Another condo, probably. Seems like more and more of those are going up every day. Okay, let's ask about Johnny Ivory's? Why did that go say Johnny Ivory's? Who knows with spooks like that? Probably doesn't even know where he is half the time. Ask Any thoughts on our construction site, Ghost? Her? She's not bad-looking in a motherly kind of way. Any thoughts on how to save her? Nothing springs to mind. Not helpful. Any thoughts on our sax-playing ghost? No more than you, darling. He likes his music, that's for sure. I doubt we'll get anything useful from him. Okay. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. So I can't do anything with the lady, because I can't get her to talk to me. Uh, can I go back to my place and do I have a phone book, maybe? I know Rose had the internet, but that's not helpful. Let's look up Johnny Ivory's. Okay. Johnny Ivory's Jazz and Cabaret. It's on Bleecker and 7th Avenue. You up for some jazz, Joey? You mean we finally get to listen to some real music? Call it my special treat. Oh, Seagram Realty? Hmm. There's no listing. Yeah. They must be based out of town. Okay. So we've got a place. Um, it's the only lead we've got, really. Come on. Let's get out of here. Right behind you. Looking things up in a phone book. Puh. Hmm. This one looks interesting. That's him. The Jasmine Ghost from the Promenade. Looks like we're on the right track. Courtesy of Jambalaya Records. Hmm. Might be worth checking out. The only thing holding up that dress is fate. Pretty <laughs> girl, though. I wonder who she is. The woman is blocking the piano player. I can't see his face. Um... Okay. Hey, mister. Yes? Got a minute? For a pretty thing like you, I got several. Huh. 
So what brings you here on such a sad night? I just love music. Well, how about that? I just happen to make music. It's a match made in heaven. I'm Lauren. What's your name? Pleasure is all mine, Lauren. You can call me C. C? You got it, sister. Is that C like the water? That's C like the chord. It's the first chord I played, and you never forget your first. Ain't that the truth? You know any other musicians? I do run in those circles, yeah. Any of them play here? Sometimes we get major gigs here. But me, I'm what you call the dependable type. These fingers can go all night long. God. Can they now? Oh, jeez, make him stop. How about we, uh, ask him for some jazz cigarettes? It's okay for me to talk to you like this. I don't hear anybody else complaining. Dull night, huh? You could say that. But I think it just got a bit more interesting. Is that right? Well, these lips don't lie. What's the band in that photograph behind you? That picture is old, sister. It's not that old. Old enough. Before my time is all. Okay. I'm looking for info about a musician. Well, I'll try to help you out. Who is he? I don't know his name. I think he's a sax player. I know lots of sax players, sister. Big guy, kind of chubby, has a beard. Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. Do you know anything about the construction site on 53rd Street? Now, why would I know about a thing like that? Yeah, no that was a dumb question. I uh, figured I'd give it a shot. Okay, nothing... Do you have a copy of that photograph anywhere? Nope, sorry. Can I See just you around? take it? Anytime, sister. Anyone else over here? This place is empty. Like, this is like a murder room. Joey maybe knows something. Hmm, this one looks interesting. He's been around. It's our sax playing spirit in the flesh. Take a closer look. Don't mind if I do. Whoever that is, I can't see him. Especially okay. with such a pleasant distraction getting in the way. I guess we'll just go look up John Belia Records because I don't know what else nope, to do. Nope, I... Yeah, that's right. I need to leave with Lauren. Let's go home. Oh. There's no entry for that. Lauren. Lauren, it's Jack. Lauren, I know you're there. I'm your brother. For God's sake, talk to me. Nope. Not going to do that, I guess. Here we go. Jumbalaya Records, 240 Essex Street. I'll jot that down. I appreciate that everything's open at night. I guess this is New York in the 70s, but damn. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Mm. Just a second. I probably need that picture, but I can't. Got it. Yep, let's go take a picture of that picture so we have something to ask around about. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. I'm smart. I've played adventure games before. Let's go to Johnny Ivory's. Uh, camera photos. Got it. Cool. It's the photo from Johnny Ivory's. I don't need a picture. Alright, let's get out of here. So he can keep playing his piano all he wants. Let's talk to Dwayne, I guess. Hi, Dwayne. Good evening. Good evening to you. I'm Dwayne. Lauren Blackwell. I was hoping you could help me. I'll do my best. What can I do for you? So what is this place? This? This is a music agency. 
we manage bands, do promotions, things like that, you know? Well, by we, I really mean me. You do this all by yourself? Yep. One man operation, that's me. What sort of music do you manage? Mostly jazz and reggae. Nobody famous. Most small timers have trouble getting their foot in the door. Getting gigs in small clubs, helping with recording sessions, you know. The basic stuff that musicians don't want to deal with. I feel like his accent is all over the place. You're up late. Really? Yeah, I suppose I am. I learned to work musician hours, you know. You play a gig at night and have a problem? You want someone to call? Your clients have lots of problems, do they? Don't get me started. I'm looking for a sax player. Well, I can definitely help you there. You looking for a stand-in or something more long-term? Oh, no, sorry. I'm not with a band. I'm looking for a specific sax player. Well, if he's a client of mine, I can help you. What's his name? That's the problem. I don't know. But he's in a photograph that your company took. Really? Can I see it? Sure, I've got a copy right here. Great. Let me see. Oh yeah, this is me being good at video games. Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No. No problem. I feel like I should have been able to show it to him without... Do you know this band? Oh yeah, I remember those guys, the C Sharps. That was the band's name? Yeah, I used to manage them. You used to manage them, but not anymore? Nah, been about eight, ten years. Time flies, you know. Does that mean C is the guy in the picture? The Promenade Ghost once played in a band called the C Sharps. Hi again. Hi yourself. Again. Let's ask about the C Sharks. What can you tell me about the C Sharks? Oh, they were strictly lounge jazz, you know? But I saw them doing more. They really gelled, you know? Gelled? In tune with each other. And that lady had a voice like velvet. What happened to them? Don't know. They disappeared. Got them a few gigs and cut a record and that was it. Yes, they just moved on or just broke up. It happens, you know. C Sharps, what do you want to bet that C was actually in that band? Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. Let's get out of here. Well, let's go talk to C. Hey, C. Hello there. It's called the C-Sharps. Do you know anything about the C-Sharps? The C-Sharps? Nah. Nah, I've never heard of them. I don't believe you. See you around. Anytime, sister. I'm betting he's the guy in that photo. Whoa. Oh boy, we've got company. Who is this? Can you see? Pardon? Can't you see? See what, lady? The whole of the world. Connections, patterns, pulsing with life everywhere. Oh great, one of New York's finest crazies. Do something about this old bat, will ya? Let's be nice. You want money? Cause I don't have any. That's not How nice, Lauren. Fool! Liar! Can't you see? Um... Useless! Can she also see the ghosts? Useless! Mm. Wow. I know. Only in New York. Ugh, forget it. Yeah, Joey's gotta do it. I'll be back, pal. Let's grab the sacks. Wait, no, no, come on. Hello again. I said, I said let, let go, go of that. that. Tell me about the C Sharps. What are you, what are crazy? you crazy? Get out of here. here. Get, Get out of here. here. Really? Ow! Hmm. Can I 
show them a picture? Hey, do you recognize this photograph? Hello? Nice try, sweetheart. But I think a more direct approach is required. Hello, I see. Man, uh... I'm Joey. Pleasure to... I don't I care. Don't... Nobody. I'm gonna talk to you, and you're gonna listen. Or so help me, I'll take this sex and shove it right up your... Give me that! Tell me about the C-sharps. What are you, what are crazy? crazy? Get out of here. here! Get, Get out of here! Oh, Man, nothing, huh? Let's chat a second. Yeah, Joey? I wonder if the C-sharps were any good. Guess we'll never know now. Looks like our night won't be so easy after all. Disappointed? Nah. I can't get a read on that lady ghost. She either wants to slap me or bake me cookies. You could use a good slap. Hmm. I'd rather have cookies. So what do you think of our guy? Him? I don't think he wants to be saved. Really? Look at him. He seems peaceful enough. I say we just leave him. You know we can't do that, sweetheart. Yeah, I know. I'm just cranky and tired. Is that right? It's hard to tell with you. Be quiet. All right, let's get on with it. Well, I yeah. guess that's, uh... I'm not really sure what to do here. But, like most adventure games, I'll sleep on it, and the answer will probably come to me. So, we've been going for a while. Let's, uh, save... Blackwell LP1. It's, uh, the end of episode one. We've been going for almost 40 minutes. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, we'll be back, and hopefully I'll have a good answer for what to do with Sax Ghost here. I'm pretty sure that guy at the club is who we need to talk to, but I don't know what to get to get him to recognize a photo or anything. Uh, anyway, that's it for now. Thanks, everybody. I'll be back again with one of these soon enough. Bye. Thank you.